Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting because I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to North Carolina. We're going to visit my sister Lauren and my whole family's coming, so we're all gonna be reunited and I just can't wait to see everyone. I'm also gonna be packing with you guys. That's what I'm doing right now. I have gathered everything and laid everything out, so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm bringing and I'll show you guys the outfits I'm bringing and all that good stuff, but it's supposed to be cold. Like I think the high is in the low 60s and then the lows are freezing. So I'm excited to be able to like bring my coats and sweaters and all that good stuff. So let me show you guys a few of the new travel items I just got in because I'm geeking out over this kind of stuff. It's so fun. I love little travel containers like this and I travel so often that I was like, you know what? It is time for me to upgrade my situation. So I got a new makeup case, which is so cute. I love that it's clear has a little zipper. I just like laid out all my makeup as I was doing my makeup this morning so I knew I made sure I wasn't forgetting anything. And then I also got all of these little cases for brushes, which is so nice. It also came with this bigger piece to go over your bigger brushes. So I put that over my foundation brush. And then I also got this little beauty blender holder just so nice so that way you don't get all of your products and everything dirty within your case which was always happening to me so hopefully this will keep it cleaner i also got this gorgeous little jewelry case i'm packing my travel ring which is not my real ring but looks pretty much identical a couple of other gold rings and then a chunky gold necklace to match all my outfits bringing my travel mirror i love this thing it's so good we're actually staying in an airbnb so i'm not sure you know like hotels airbnbs you never really know how the lighting is gonna be for makeup. Bringing my travel steamer, of course. I got the same uh, toiletry bag that I have in blush in black because I love it so much. I just wanted another color. I love that you can hang this on the back of the door or on a robe hook or a towel hook or whatever and you just have all your products laid out. So easy for you to access and it doesn't take up space on the counter. I wanna show you guys, I got these little silicone bottles that are spill-proof, leak-proof. These have been so good for me and I put my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and face wash in these. That way I'm not bringing like my super big items. And then I just packed the rest of my like skincare and hair care, brushes, that kind of thing. Oh, I also got this little pill organizer because I take all my vitamins with me and this is like, so much better and then just bring them in a bunch of little plastic baggies like I was doing before. Just wanted to show you guys all of my new stuff. I'm so excited to use all of it this time. Since we are going to be spending a lot of time with family in our Airbnb and just like hanging out at night and in the mornings and stuff, I really wanted to bring some cute loungewear and I'm super excited to be partnering with Lily Silk in today's video. So thanks to them for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I have some gorgeous items to show you guys. So if you guys have not heard of Lily Silk, they have everything from clothing to PJs to bedding, all made of the highest quality natural materials like mulberry silk and Mongolian cashmere which is what this set is made of it is so soft and warm and it will be perfect for lounging around with family I also love that it has this hood because that means I don't have to wear hijab since my brother-in-laws are going to be there I can just throw that on and just be super comfy but I just love the cut of this set in particular and this color is beautiful next up we have this gorgeous silk PJ set, which is pretty much the highest quality PJ set I've ever owned. The material is so silky and buttery. I honestly have never felt anything softer. It's amazing. And then you guys are not ready for this. I got Elena a little matching set. I cannot wait to match with her. This is going to be adorable. Oh, silk is actually the best fabric to sleep in because there are so many great benefits for your hair and your skin. It's a very breathable fabric, but it's also a natural temperature regulator, so it can help you regulate your temperature while you sleep. Silk is actually great for babies and toddlers to sleep in because it is very gentle on sensitive skin, especially if you have babies with eczema or any kind of skin sensitivities. They also do um, toddler sized pillowcases, which is what I'm planning on getting Elena next. Lily Silk would make perfect gift options this time of year. They have beautiful packaging and monogram options so I will actually leave my discount code that they gave me on screen it's lena12 for 12% 12 off the entire website lily silk also carries silk pillowcases which are also that same like beautiful buttery fabric and it's perfect to sleep on because it doesn't tug on your skin it's so smooth and that helps prevent wrinkles and hair breakage next up I got this gorgeous cashmere cardigan 
which is so soft and buttery that you can wear around the house or you can wear it out and about. It's just so classic. That's one thing I love about Lily Silk is these are like classic investment pieces that you will keep in your wardrobe for years and years and years because they are so high quality and just classic styles. Lily Silk also has really great ethics. They're committed to zero waste production and they're environmentally conscious and all of their products are all toxin free and clean. So I feel really, really good about wearing my pieces. I will have Lily Silk linked down below so you can check out the rest of their website. Thanks again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this portion of today's video. I'm quickly going to show you guys the rest of the outfits I'm bringing with me to North Carolina and then we'll get to packing everything in my suitcase. Here is the first outfit that I'm bringing. This is just like a classic black and white look. I actually just got this black coat because I did not own a black coat and I thought it was an essential. I just got it from H&M and I love the cut of it and wearing my Pauline bag. This is an old sweater dress from H&M last year, but I can link similar. I have on my Spanx faux leather leggings and then the Amazon combat boots that I love so much. So I'll probably add a gold necklace whenever I wear this just to add a little bit more detail. Here is my next look. Please excuse the wrinkles. I'm going to be bringing my travel steamer with me, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea because I love this look. Cream sweater, cream trousers, sneakers, and then camel coat and a camel bag. And I just love like the monochrome look. It's so pretty. And then you guys, I coordinated all of me and Elena's outfits and look at her coat. Is this not gonna be so cute? I hope she behaves for pictures. Ah! This is the last look I'm bringing. It's just like casual, but like still very chic. I love this puffer coat. I just got this in from Amazon and the length is really nice. I'm wearing some black lounge pants, sneakers, and then a black bodysuit underneath, and then my black bag, but um, this coat is like the star of the show. It is so beautiful. and packed up this bag. We have one more check bag that we are bringing. I'm gonna leave this open in case I need to add anything before tomorrow. These shoes didn't fit, so I'm gonna put them in our other bag. I'm just praying that nothing's overweight. <laughs> we made it to North Carolina. We are here at Lauren's fiance's cabin. He lives in this gorgeous, little cabin in the woods in the mountains and it is stunning it is a little bit past peak fall season all the leaves have fallen so i'm a little disappointed we didn't get to see like it in its peak fall glory but it's still so gorgeous we actually got in yesterday and it's been raining which thank god it cleared up and hopefully we can have a really nice day today of exploring the sun came out oh, it feels so good all my family is inside we're about to have breakfast so let's go inside good morning guys. Good, good morning good morning this this this, this johnny boy he's we've got you breakfast tell him, you going tell him, go away Stop at a drugstore. Hello. Look at the cozy vibes in this cabin. No. 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 Where'd he go? What happened? You're looking for the puppy dog? Where did he go? Look, look, where'd he go? You see the puppy? She smells so good. I was so excited. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh my god. Look at the house. He's slipping. What? Oh, it's a pretty good. You can see the puppy outside. Have you ever had one? Yeah, when you open it, you want to go outside? Okay. Here, take a bite first. Take a bite. Eat your breakfast. Take a bite. Then. Take a bite. She does not want to eat that. We have yogurt. Maybe she'll like it. She's busy. I'll She's too busy it. to eat right now. Johnny, stay outside. It's good here. Okay. Nobody breathes. John Snow, don't breathe. Do Yanni Alele. Yanni, your job, Sido. Yella, hold me. 
Yalla, hold me. Your job, Sido. We are waiting for everyone and we are about to go to a state park to see some beautiful scenery. And Lele, she's been so good on this trip, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah yeah. She's been on a good mood. She's had plenty of uh, space, somewhat of space to run around. To run around. Mm -hmm. That's the key with toddlers, they need to run around. Yeah. We just realized that like she can't sit still at restaurants or whatnot for very long. I was laughing so hard at Omar. <laughs> I still, when he's not even there, I think about it. When I imagine Omar, when he came to the house, he's holding me. He's like, Ammo. He told me. I looked at her and I was trying to tell her that, no, we don't need to do that or something like that. She looked at him, she goes, be nice or something like that. And he goes, Excuse what? Me? It really shocked me. Whatever planning Omar had in mind, <laughs> all this strategy and what have you, went out the window. Flew away. Flew away. It's so pretty. Teach me to carry her purse. I said, I'm going the elevator and carrying a purse. That doesn't look good for me. We are the elevator group, and everyone else is doing the stairs. We're going to go up to this really cool lookout point. Ooh, it's nice and cool in here. Yeah. Inside the mountain. Man, we're inside a cave. Oh, we're inside oh. the mountain here. Wow. Careful. Oh. <laughs> it's funny that you understood that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, you didn't need any words. You made it. Lele said, I go see mommy. Oh, I mommy. said, okay. We go see mommy. go see mommy. There's mommy. Hi, mama. There's Cheers. We all good? Well, no, it seems like most people are over here on this side. I think I can donate my weight to this side. No. Aww, let me get that. <laughs> Johnny, that's bad manners. That was, uh, the dog. Wait, that was really the dog? No, that was you. You didn't burp? I didn't burp. That was, that was you. Yeah, he burped. That was Sarah, man. That was Omar. <laughs> Johnny burped. He's so happy. Oh. the next day a little recap of yesterday we went on this gorgeous boat ride the lake was surrounded by mountains and it was so peaceful and we had such a good time and then we headed back to our Airbnb which is where I'm standing outside of um, and we ordered Indian food which was literally the best Indian food I've ever had in my entire life I had chicken biryani I had chana masala which is like chickpeas and oh my god it was so good I will write the name of it on screen literally the best Indian food I've ever had. I actually fell asleep on the couch. Everyone else stayed up and played cards. Um, I actually stayed up last, the night before and played with them. We played camps, which is actually what we grew up calling it, but a lot of people call it signal, where you have like a partner, and it's like literally the funnest game ever. Oh my god, we literally grew up playing that together, like with Omar and all of his cousins and stuff. So this was so fun. We also played Mafia. <laughs> so fun too. It's been nice like honestly the best part of the trip has been like spending the night times together and like after Elena goes to sleep we all like play games and stuff. Sad I was too tired last night to like partake in any of it but I was literally so exhausted I just like passed out. This morning we are going to eat some breakfast at a restaurant. Amanda and Muhammad just left to try to go get a table for all of us since we are a big party. I think there's 10 of us so yeah we're trying to finish up packing everything. I'm pretty much done and Omar's getting his last minute things and then we're gonna head to breakfast and I'll show you guys what else we get up to. Give you guys a little overview of our Airbnb. It's a mess now after <laughs> we've been here. Elena's watching Mickey Mouse. It was cute. I liked it. It was all like homey. It was clean. We had all the fun right here. Yeah. All the cards.
We are back home. I'm sorry that the last day was cut really short. All we did was eat breakfast and then we had a very busy travel day after that. I felt so bad for Elena because it was one of like the hardest days for her. Just traveling with a toddler is no joke and I have literally decided that I'm done traveling with her until she's like five years old because I cannot do it anymore. Thanks again to Lily Silk for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget you get 12% off with my code Lena12. I will have all my favorite pieces linked down below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our family trip and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.